Hi, in this video I am going to show you how you can match your subject with your background. By the way, this video is made on the request of one of my subscribers, if you also have some other ideas, then do leave them in the comments, I would love to try them. So first step is to select your subject, and for that you can use any tool, here I will be using select subject button just to save time. Now once you like the selection then just press Ctrl plus J. Now select your move tool. Click and drag your subject to your main background and once you see this plus icon with your mouse cursor then just leave. Now I will press Ctrl plus T and just gonna transform him. Now go to adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And here you will see these little lines, so just click on them and then choose auto options. and then click on the find light and dark colors and then single click on the shadow color and now you have to sample the darkest color in the background but it is sampling white you know why because the layer mask is selected not the layer so just cancel everything and select the layer itself and not the layer mask, otherwise it will not gonna work. Now create a clipping mask by holding Alt key and clicking on middle of these two layers. And now I will open all of the things back. So just click on the shadow color and sample the darkest color in your background image. But remember not to choose 100% black. This is 100% black. So I am going with this color. Now click on the highlight color and sample the highlight color from the background, but remember not to choose 100% white. So I will choose this orange color. And here, Photoshop will ask you, if you want to set these colors as a default, but we don't want that, so just hit no. Now how is this working? Well the color you choose for the shadow, from the background image. Photoshop apply that same color, to shadows of your subject image. And the highlight color you choose from background, Photoshop apply the same highlight color to the highlights of the subject. Now as you can see, that the color matching process is done but there is just something not looking right. So to check what's wrong, we will make this picture black and white, so it would be easier for us to check. So I will simply add a solid color adjustment layer. Here, type 808080, which is 50% gray. 
and now change the blend mode to color. And you can see this black and white image. Well, you can also make it black and white using the adjustment layer, but this works better. Now you can clearly see that the subject is way brighter than the background, so we will add a curves adjustment layer to make him a little darker. But remember to clip it so it will only affect the subject. And now just turn off your gray layer, or even delete it, and here you go. This is way better than before, you can see the difference. Well making the subject darker is not necessary, but it was here. For your picture it might be different. And if you're wondering why we added that gray layer, and and all of that. Well it's because, if we see a black and white image, it's easier for us to tell what's missing. Like in this case, once we made it black and white, it was easier to tell that we had to make the subject a little darker. But we were not able to tell with colors, because they were distracting us. And turns out, that most of you who watch my videos, aren't actually subscribed, so if you like the content and want to support the channel, then please do it, it's free, and you can always change your mind later.